So this year, for my birthday, I got the operator manual for a welder. Lucky for me, it also came with a welder. Oh, so orange. So many dials. But not just any welder, mind you. This baby is a TIG welder, and I've been after one of those for a long time. As with all great gifts, the TIG welder comes with the need for a few accessories. It certainly looks the part. One problem? I don't know how to TIG weld. I have never TIG welded before. I've MIG welded. MIG welding's easy. You press the trigger, the welding happens. This, this is a whole different beast. Maybe I should check the manual again first. Now the first component of TIG welding is these bad boys. And I'm told that when I'm starting out, I should expect to sharpen these a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, let's get some sharpened. Now I know what you're saying. This old mega geek, that's not the right angle. Well, more for you, two angles. We just screw in our regulator. Comes out and attach our hose. Then just attach the other end of the hose to the back of the welder. Ah, problem. I started by Bomber 1956, Bomber with AR. No, for a little bit before Christmas. Oh, nearly there. Just a few pre flight checks. I'm told it's important for TIG to be really clean. First thing I'm going to do is just try no filler rod, just on a piece of steel, just to kind of get a sense of it. I've dialed in the settings to something that sounds plausible, so I'm just going to clean the surface and then we'll see. Quick welding pro tip, when welding, you don't want to look at it directly, obviously. So if you stick your fingers really tight together and you just open a little crack, then you can see your welding helmet, which is very important. This is a shiny new one I bought just for TIG welding. Well, it didn't take long for that inevitable thing. I stuck the, the TIG into the end. I also need to dial the helmet down a bit. Oh, I should also have been going the other way. Whoa! <laughs> Blasted clean through. That's pretty, pretty wild. Huh. Okay. I think it's probably time to try gluing some stuff together. That is, after all, why it's called welding. This is a trick I learned from this old Tony. Okay, again, no filler rod. I'm just going to see about uh, what it's like to just try and run a joint. Uh, a butt joint like this.
How cool is that? Just straight up melting the metal together. I wonder how strong that is. Pretty strong. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to clean up this side and then have a go with some filler on it. Okay, let's see what it's like to try and put filler on in this. I'm going to practice this whole filler rod feeding action that people do so well. We'll see how this goes. Harder. <laughs> I mean, it's not Instagram worthy exactly. Well, I'm gonna put it on Instagram anyway. But, that's pretty wild. That's pretty, I love this. This is pretty good fun. Now to try some different joints. I'm gonna need some more steel. But enough stealing from this old Tony. Now for some Maker Geek tricks. Hey Google, generate me some more steel. Thanks Google. You could have cleaned it first. Ah, whatever. So this is my mess of a practice piece. Uh, I didn't film all, all of it because I don't really have the camera set up to be able to take particularly good angles at this point. Um, clearly overpowered and blew through my box section. I uh, tried capping it off. Kind of interesting. I think obviously these sorts of joints harder to do with the argon wanting to flow away uh, but this was pretty nice pretty happy with the way that joint looks let's try a little bit of yeah you could almost pretend that I'm a welder there uh, ignore the <laughs> ignore this funny angle that's just because I was using a magnet to hold it in place and I wasn't really that worried uh, welded thin to thick not very well, but it's a fairly strong bond. This is fun. Uh, obviously, this is my first outing with TIG. I was expecting not to be good, and I am not good. <laughs> but it, you can see how you can certainly make progress, uh, and practice obviously makes perfect. I guess I didn't really have a plan exactly how to end this video, it is just me getting started with TIG. Uh, and I've skipped ahead a bit, I've done a bunch more practice. The culmination of that at this point is this steel drawer that I made to fit in these uh, units that are otherwise laser cut. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this, this is 0.8mm uh, thick steel, uh, so it is quite fiddly uh, and the key that I learned is you really need to back up the weld with like a chunk of aluminium basically, something to act as a heat sink to try to let you melt precisely where you want but like keep the heat down. And the first couple of edges I was sort of a little bit rough with and I was trying to add filler rod um, and it was going okay but then I kind of got into my stride with getting getting aluminium clamped in the right place and I was able to just gently melt the edges together with no filler. i take this to show. So you can see that when you get it right, you're able to just very delicately melt those two corners together. Um, and it penetrates all the way through to the other side. So there you go. That that is the culmination at this point. I need to put a handle on it, um, which I'm going to do. 
but I've got a bunch of other projects on the go at the moment. Uh, I want to make a metal bender. I want to use the metal bender to bend some metal to make the handle. Um, but for now, for the purposes of this video, I think we're done. It's been interesting to play with TIG for a little bit. I'm definitely going to play a lot more. It'll probably come up with a lot of projects. Um, but so much to do and so little time. So for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.